Hi everyone, recently I decided to record an Outlast 2 Let's Play, and I've been recording that for a while, so if you want to check that one out, you can go in the description below. But anyway, I was having a lot of problems trying to record it, and it had a lot to do with graphic settings, so I wanted to show you guys how to do this so that you guys aren't confused, because when I was looking it up on YouTube, I had a lot of confusion, so I thought I'd clear it up all for you guys. So yeah. Let's go into the settings real quick. All right. So you have a lot of settings. All right. So the main one you're going to want to go to is output. Now output is when you're going to have a lot of trouble with. All right. So we have streaming here. You can use streaming if you plan on streaming at some point. If not, that's fine. Um, I do recording. So we're going to do that one. So we're going to do recording. Now encoding is the most important part. All right. You have to pick the right encoder. So we have two different ones that I'm going to teach you. So we have the X264. Now this one is where your processor or CPU, this is where this one encodes it. So this one, my CPU, since my CPU can handle a lot, um, I think I have a Ryzen 7. So X264 is the best for me personally. Some people have really good graphics cards. You might want to think about doing that. I would test them both out and see which one's best for your system but yeah i picked this one now we have encoder settings so the cbr either you're gonna have cbr or cqp i believe yeah let's go in here cqp right cqp is the best one for recording if you're gonna be streaming use cbr um i know for the nvidia nvink which is your graphics card one if you decide to pick that one and you're deciding to record gameplay pick cqp because that one will be the best for videos since i'm doing my x264 since i'm doing my processor doesn't have that option like you'll see um i know a lot of people use vbr i've tried it don't really like it so i use cbr it works great um bit rate i would say anywhere from 6000 to 8000 is is really good for 60 fps now, the higher you go up, the more intensive it is. So I wouldn't try to go above this. Um, that's just what my computer can handle and it works fine. So the keyframe interval, that is gonna be at two seconds. It works great for me, it'll work great for you. Just stick to that. For this one, it says CPU preset. Now I put very fast. It's gonna be a lot different based on which one you're doing. If you're doing a graphics card, I'm gonna show that. But right now I'm going to show the CPU. Very fast, works great. Keep it like that. Profile, high or main. Don't go to baseline. It's just not worth it. Doesn't handle it very well. I stick with high. It works great. Two, none. Works fine. And I can record gameplay without lag. Yeah. So let's go into the NVIDIA NVENC H264. All right. Now CQP, the lower you go down, the more intensive it's going to be on your system. So keep that in mind. Um, if 20 isn't really working for you, I know it's great quality, um, but if you want higher quality than that, go to like 17. I know a lot of people use 17. That's fine. Um, works great. And yeah. Now for the preset, I would use like a higher quality if you can. I would just test it. You know, I would take your time to test it out. With your system every system is going to be different anyone that's kind of like oh i don't know if it's going to handle it pick a medium medium will work fine uh tuning high quality multi-pass mode don't really worry about that i always keep it on two passes and it's never had an issue so profile again high gpu you're going to want the gpu to be zero that means it's just going to use your default one whatever your default one is um, most people don't have more than one but if you do then you can set it to whatever one uh, max B frames too. That's fine. All right, now video. Now, if you're recording gameplay, I would highly recommend you use this 3840 by 1080. I know a lot of people have said that there's like a, let's see, let's go into this. Is it a filter? Yeah. So yeah, source record that filter I've tried. It doesn't work. I, I don't know how you guys get it to work. Um, I've tried it a bunch of times. I've tried it with a bunch of different settings. 
and I can't get it to work for the life of me. It'll record either my display or my webcam. It won't record both. I don't know why, but that's just my opinion. I always just record it going into a video 3840 by 1080. That just makes it double the screen size so that you can put your display on the one side and your webcam on the other. But yeah, if this video helped you out at all, please hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!